Hello and welcome back to our third tutorial on our advanced WordPress training tutorials. My name is Quentin Brown and I'm your primary coach. What we're going to do this time is look at some of the ways we can add some code into our blog to customize it even more. There are lots of plugins around that will allow you to do this. However, sometimes you want to add your own things. And so we're just going to go through the whole process of doing that. Now, here is my AWeber. And unfortunately, if you're using the latest version of WordPress, it strips out script. So what we need to use here is this HTML form that we're going to put into our sidebar. So I've just highlighted it. I'm going to go Control Copy. This is going to be a sign-up form for our coaching program. And what happens is, it, because it's HTML, it also gives the redirect website. So make sure you don't put your download in the redirect. Allow your program, your Weber or your autoresponder to deliver that product for you. All I've put in here is a thank you message and that there, once they confirm their email, that they will receive the free product. So we can close that now. And once again, we need to go into our area to post that code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it just under the RSS support. So I'm just looking in my sidebar if I can find an area where it's got that information. And here it is here. So I'm just going to paste it in there. Control V and update my page. Hit F5. And as you can see, it's put it into our sidebar nicely. These are a little bit too big, so we can change them in the code. And instead of 20, we might make it 18 and 18 and update file. Go to our website, F5. Ah, that looks a lot neater. So that's how easy it is to add in a autoresponder code into your website. So we want to put some ads in here. So I've, I've created a little ad here. And in this I'm using the free PageBreeze HTML editor. And all I've done is brought in an ad for a, a product from another site. And I just want the HTML code. So here it is here. It hasn't got any fonts in it, so I don't need the font part. All I wanted to do was get the code, so I go control copy, and we don't need that anymore. Once again, we can go into our WordPress site. Let's say we want to put it up here in the header part. So that's obviously in the content somewhere. So let's see, let's put it in the main index template. And here it is. Now as I said, you don't need to really know much about this. Just put it anywhere you like to start with. Let's put it up the top here. As I said, my main aim in this tutorials is to give you the confidence to try different things. And you can't really make a mistake. Because if it goes in the wrong place, we'll just take it out and move it somewhere else. So what it did here was it put it above everything. And that could be a good look, but we actually want it to be below that. So let's just take it out. Control X and put it down here instead. Control V. Update the file. F5. Ah, that's a lot better. Now if we go to a page, because these are all posts at the moment, if we go to a page we'll see it's not in there. So we also have to put it in the page. And so here's a page template. Now remember, you could put a different ad in each page. And actually some 
plugins where you can add all these in and make them rotate. So again, we want it to go under the content, so we'll go Control V, update the file, go into our WordPress site, and let's put it in there nicely as well. Let's go home again. What happens if somebody clicks on Hello World and reads the post? It's not in there. So now we need to go and find if they have a single post template, which they do. And again, put it in the same place. And that's it. You could put it in all different ads. So when people went to different areas, you could have your own separate ads for affiliate products, coaching programs, whatever you desire. And so there we are. We've got it nicely placed in each area. If you wanted to just move it down a little bit, just go into your HTML editor and enter. It will give you a little bit of extra code that you can put in. Obviously, if you're good at HTML, you already know this, but lots of people don't. So these are just little cheats that I use when working with different parts of HTML code. That was in a single post, so we'll just put that little bit of code in there, which puts in a space. Do an update. Do an F5. Okay, and that just moved it down a little bit. We'll do that the same for the home. Control V. Update file. Do an F5, go back to the page, do an F5, and as you can see, it's moved down. So our blog is now starting to take on some shape. As you can see, we can change pretty well anything we like. Obviously, this area down the here, we can change it as well. However, it won't be in the style sheet, it will be in the footer. So here's the footer. We could go through and take out that information and change it to whatever we want down the bottom here. So I'm just going to do that quickly now and show you how it looks. Okay, so what I did was I copied and pasted that information out and put it again in my page breeze. I just pasted it in the HTML, then went to the normal. And I'm just going to make sure these point to the things that I want. So I've already pointed it to me. I'm just going to make it open in a new page. I've made sure I put some keywords in there for me. So I'm just going to copy this now. Control C. I'm going to Control V it back into there. Update file. Go to our website. Do an F5. And now it looks better. Much more information. Once again, we've got our keyword in here for our search engines. As you can see, you can customize everything in your web page very simply by just using those theme editors. My name is Brenda Brown. Looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.